Yo, Kickbase Guy here. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to season eight, episode number three of Subscriber Showcase. I have three submissions for you today and they are all unique, really nice spins on home theater. I'm super excited to show you these three home theaters. Shout out to the three who sent them out for this episode today. And you know what to do head to the kitchen, move some of that old stuff out of the way, grab yourself a string cheese and a sparkling water to wash it down with. And I'll see you at the end of the episode. So we're kicking it off with a beautiful and unique home theater from Daniel. His, he's been on Subscriber Showcase before, and he has a little paragraph for us. He says, I have a 5.2 living room home theater system. Being that I listen to music 60% of the time, I wanted to experiment a little with using professional studio monitors for my front stage. After many days of research, I came across the JBL LSR 4328Ps. These are some of the most versatile and intelligent self-powered studio monitors that I've ever came across. They allow a plethora of connections, both analog and digital. In addition to having onboard room correction, they are high QNet interconnectable for up to five speakers via CAT5 cable. I am using 3D with them for my LCR. This allows two stages of room correction, Odyssey and high QNet. So the speakers he's using, like again, is the front stage JBL LSR 4328Ps. They're self-powered studio monitors. He has three front, center, and, uh, and front right, center, and front and left. His rear speakers are Eclipse RP250s. They are bipole speakers. He has two of those, of course. And then his subwoofer of choice is the SVS SB2000 Pros. He has two of those as well. He's running his system with a Marantz SR5013 as a dedicated processor. Powering his rear channels, he's using a Rotel RMB 1075 5 channel amplifier. And his sources is an Apple 4K TV, his Fire Stick 4K, an Audio Technica AT LP60X turntable, and his TV is a 65 inch Samsung 4K Crystal UHD TV. He says he absolutely loves this system and how it sounds. It's critically accurate, efficient, and dynamic for both music and movies as well. He says, Thanks for letting me submit. Absolutely, Daniel. I love this system. Really unique, really beautiful. Beautiful, and I bet my subscribers think the same thing. Up next, we have Dream on Crawford. He's been on several different episodes of Subscriber Showcase throughout the other seasons, and he has two setups to show us in this. And he's actually made his own little video, so I'll let him do most of the showcase. But he has two channels set up and an office setup that we're going to see here in this video that he made us. So let's take a look.
we are ending out this episode with Wendell Blue, new to the channel here. He is using a massive 75 inch ACR QLED TV. And on his rack from top to bottom, he's using the Samsung 4K player. It's a UBD KM85C as well as a Panasonic DP UB820. He has a Sony 5 disc CD changer as well as an Onkyo 2 channel amp, the M5010. He's using dual APC 8 outlet power filters as well as the Base X3 and 4 channel amps. Denon AVR 3700 is his current receiver, but he ordered the Denon 3800H. His speakers are the Folk Audio Monitor 60 series, as well as the CS35 center channel. His front heights are the NHT Atmos modules, and his side heights are Polk TL1, left and right. And he says he loves them, but he will replace them soon. And his surround sounds are Defense Technology Bipolar speakers, the BP12X. Also in the rear heights are NHT speakers, and his rear subs are the Klipsch R12s. All right, guys, that's going to do it for episode number three of Subscriber Showcase. Again, thank you so much to those who entered into the Subscriber Showcase for this episode and to the first few who entered in for the first two episodes. If you missed those episodes, go back and watch. They are some really nice home theaters. If you haven't seen the other seasons, the other seven seasons of Subscriber Showcase, make sure you go back and watch that. And stay tuned for next Wednesday when we do episode number four. It's only getting better from here. Hope you guys have a good day. Hope you guys have a good week. And we will see you in the next episode. Keep this guy out. Peace.